During a Q&A session at, uh, at Tuesday's shareholder meeting at the campus, Tim Cook told investors Apple is still very much focused on its professional customers. And here's, here's, the, uh, here's the pull quote. You'll see us do more in the pro area. The pro area is very important to us. The creative area is very important to us in particular. So this is with regard to Mac, Apple Watch. Oh, but really, come on. Pros, creatives, Apple Watch? I don't think so. Serv Apple Watch Pro, you've heard it here first. <laughs> Services and iPad. But I think really, if you're talking pro, if you're talking creatives, you're talking Mac. Mac Pro is now 1,100 days without a refresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Three, at this, at, almost four at this years. Point, at this point, uh, Tim is in put up or shut up mode. It's like it's nice. I I hear that you're you're making noises with your mouth, which is nice. <laughs> uh, you're using the words pro. Uh, in there, which is also nice, but after three years, after like uh, discontinuing models that are popular, after making really controversial and downright odd choices about projects that you cancel, even though they are really wonderful pro apps, uh, and other projects that you totally pivot at least 110 degrees away from what at least most people would instinctively think of as pro. Again, I. I need something more at this point than saying, oh, we believe, we think that we think that La La Land has a brilliant future as an Oscar contender. It's like, yeah, fine. Okay. It's no, just, that's oh, really I'll, true because so many I'm, I'm, pros. I'm not are saying I don't believe him. I'm, I'm saying that I will, that's right now, that's just okay. I, I write down that he has said this. Good. I don't, that doesn't mean anything to me until he's actually on stage holding up something that, <laughs> that the design that the design people said my god this is so ugly this is this is it's so practical and functional I, it, it makes me sick that's what i'll believe expect, that expect he's it when you about. see it mode i mean you got people like trey ratcliffe uh writing apple is dead to me i'm switching to windows uh, you know one of our favorite photographers good friend of the network uh, how long are people gonna wait people not, not, not pros give long. up at, at some point you know, Trey ended up buying a, a desktop replacement, you know, $5,000 MSI laptop. I mean, a big honking yep. laptop because, because he's, a, he's a photographer. He needs, he needs, he needs the, the power. Real, it's, it's not a problem for him to carry stuff around because the things he carries around makes him money. Right. What he needs is the stuff that's suited to his knees. So he's not willing to listen to you say about how exceptional this new flat keyboard is and how by removing these ports they've refined the again i i've got a job i put time and money right. in i get money out this is a very simple equation and the variable of apple we need to remove from this equation if we're going to keep in profit yep uh and you can't get a, an any apple mac with a rainbow light up keyboard so no nope. There's, there's that, yeah. too. <laughs> you can put the Hue light strips on and use HomeKit to turn them on and off. This, this, remember you were saying uh, the, the Apple design team would say how ugly. This Johnny Ive would literally throw up if Apple released something with a rainbow keyboard. He was given, he was given that poor design team member crap about a rust-colored uh, cloth in an Apple Watch box <laughs> in that 60 Minutes thing. That looks like a dorm room carpet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That looks like the wait Las a minute. Vegas Strip. Oh, wait a minute. I I sense some joy in this. <laughs> Find it and kill it immediately. What did I tell the you joy about letting joy into the our user. product design? Do not impose your joy on the user. Let them discover their own joy. Now, admittedly, photographers have the luxury of using Photoshop and Lightroom, and, and you yep. know most of the tools that they use are cross-platform, so... Uh, it's not a big deal. If I guess if you're all in on Final Cut, you'd kind of really be waiting for a, a Mac Pro. Although what we did, and I bet you a lot of pros have done, is we, we just bit the bullet and we trained everybody in Premiere and and moved yeah. to a Dell workstation. Yeah, that's that's the vulnerability. And also they, they drove a lot of professionals, uh, photographers, away from Aperture by saying, we don't <laughs> care about Aperture, we're not going to upgrade it. So I would have been happy to use, I'm not a pro, but I would have been happy to use Aperture forever because I thought it was great. I only switched to Lightroom because I had to. And then that sort of <laughs> got me... A few years ago, there was there a bunch of things that got me thinking that I don't want to be locked into using Apple standards, Apple only standards, unless I think that there is a really good, compelling reason for them to be better than uh, a competing Notes app, for instance. And 
I, for my personal needs, I found very few solutions that really required an Apple solution. And then when you come down to now it's down to a piece of hardware that I'm using that can run <laughs> multi-platform things and standards that are available in any platform, it becomes how good is this piece of hardware for my particular needs? And all you got to do is change that one thing that this user needs. And then they're suddenly saying, OK, I can't use this anymore. I'll I'll walk out. I'll walk out of the Apple Store with uh, an extra five hundred dollars in my pocket, and I'll just uh, see what's. I'll see what's going on at Sears. I think they got some new, some great gateway laptops using the new Pentium four processor. Amazing, isn't it? Jeez.